guys welcome back to my channel is debbie in the building as always guys in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys how i made a goosey soup using almond yeah yes you heard me right using almond yeah and this video was inspired by auntie flo chinye yeah her channel's name is flo chinye and she is a nigerian woman based in spain she does more of uh, food videos and also a little bit of lifestyle videos yeah so the first time i tried making this soup i used spinach because in her video she also used spinach i used spinach in making it at the end of the day i realized that it's too sweet the thing was just very very not very very if you're able you understand what i'm saying yeah so i decided that the next time i'll make it i'll be using bitter leaf so in today's recipe i'll be using bitter leaf to make this so guys if you don't know flo chinye and young whitey what the hell are you doing yeah because she's one of the oldest youtuber i know and i'll drop the link to this her own almond soup or will i call it a goosey soup <laughs> in my description box go and check out how she made her own yeah so and in this recipe i tried using um a little bit of her method to make my own too so stay tuned and learn how to make a new recipe or a new soup yeah because right now in my house we don't have any african food yeah you guys know what we are into now we are on lockdown there's no place to get african food and all those things so i try my best to use what to have in the house to cook you know to make something that is um delicious and healthy as well for us so guys let's get into the video i don't want to be talking too much <laughs> let's get into the video let's start cooking guys yeah here are my ingredients this is the almond this is what it looks like my grinded crayfish seasoning cube scott bernard pepper and bell pepper onion salt stock fish isio uroko bitter leaf cow food fresh fish and beef guys you need to see how this cow food was just take a look at what it looks like before i scraped it you know my palm oil and washed it thoroughly with my salt so guys whenever you are using cow foods make sure you scrape the back this way and clean it now over to my pot is the cow food you know cow food takes time to cook so i'll be cooking it first with just onion and salt before adding my beef since beef cooks easily you know and my stockfish cooks easily as well because i've already used hot water to wash it thoroughly and then soak it in, inside the hot water for some time before washing it anyways i'm using stockfish head isio uroko yeah so i went ahead and started blending my almond as you can see guys i don't know if you people are seeing what i'm saying this almond is just like a goosey just check out look at it after blending it is just like blended a goosey there is no difference there is no difference guys even um the texture everything just take a look at that guys i think this is a perfect alternative for a goosey honestly so guys i came back to the pot after blending the almond to check the cow foot and i realized that it has cooked a little bit then i went ahead and added my stock fish you can see the pieces in the stock fish that's the pieces of um dry fish the ones that i have left you know 
I also added it. I also washed it with hot water. I added the beef and my seasoning cube and stirred everything up properly. Guys, there is this special taste head of stockfish give to the soup. Honestly, even the smell alone is just different and unique. You see, Uroko is different. Honestly, the taste is different. The smell is different. Yeah, I know stockfish um, has this unique taste, but Isio Uroko is something else. The unique taste it gives to soup eh, is something else. So, guys, I covered the pot up and allowed it to cook. This is after a few minutes. I came back and then added my fish my fresh fish poured in my peppers the scotch bonnet pepper and the bell pepper i didn't use all the bell pepper i just used a little from one bell pepper and then went ahead and added my crayfish as you can see And also added my black pepper. You know, black pepper in soups um, tastes a little bit like oziza when you put oziza leaf in the soup. So that's why I decided to add the black, the black pepper. I was trying everything possible. So that the fish will not scatter. But the fish finally scattered. <laughs> so I went ahead and added a little water. You know. And then. I covered it up. And over my burner. I placed. My frying pan on the fire. And poured in my almond my grinded almond, then put in the soup stock inside. <coughs> and started stirring. Yeah, this is not really frying, anyways. This is just to help the almond to cake like a goose. Almond does not really cake like a goosey. But with this method, it helps it to cake up a little bit like a goosey. Yeah. And in Auntie Flo's video, she used the same pot. She just removed her mm. meat, you know, mm. that everything that she's using to cook it and then poured in her almond and started stirring just the way I'm doing mine. Then, cooked it just the way i'm doing mine but my i just decided to use another pot and do it you know so guys if you are cooking this <laughs> at this stage you have to be very close to your pot and stir it um properly and constantly also because almond burns like what i don't know it burns easily so you have to just be very close as you can see guys it has started caking already or rather it has caked already as you can see that's why the fact i'm still stirring it up <laughs> constantly still I still notice that the tin burnt a little bit. Thank God I'm even using a non-stick pan. So guys, I poured in the cooked almond inside the pot of soup. As you can see. And after putting it, I went ahead and also added my red palm oil inside it as well 
and stirred everything up together guys can you see that can you see the cake i was talking about that process is important anyways so that it will help it to cake a little bit like a goosey although almond doesn't really cake it doesn't really cake exactly like a goosey so i stirred everything up together mixed it properly then i went ahead and added my bitter leaves i'm using dry bitter leaf so that's why i decided to add it immediately after added my red palm oil if you are using spinach you have to wait for it to cook for like um five more minutes or thereabouts before adding your spinach because you don't want your spinach to overcook but i added my bitter leaves because i'm using a dry bitter leaf it's a little bit hard so i covered everything up after stirring it you know and i allowed it and i allowed it to cook for additional five minutes so guys if you are a food lover just like me rush now to my description box and click the link that will take you to auntie flo's channel the name of her channel is flo chenier click on that link and when you get there make sure you subscribe yeah if you want to learn amazing recipes thanks a lot from her channel go now and subscribe to her channel and thank me later so i tested for salt and everything was okay in auntie flo's voice have you liked this video yet have you have you <laughs> this is after five minutes guys my soup is ready just check out check out the soup guys my egusi almond soup is ready <laughs> yes i forgot to mention that i removed the fish earlier on before adding the egusi so that it will not break so i just went ahead and added the fish and guys this is what my almond the goosey okay soup looks enough, like guys. the soup came out so well honestly i didn't even realize that i used almond in cooking this soup i used bitter leaf and i think bitter leaf is the best it's just the best vegetable for this almond soup if you want it to test exactly like a goosey just to use bitter leaf in cooking it it came out so well honestly and i'm happy i tried it now i have another recipe <laughs> recipe to my food menu you know so guys i urge you to try it out try it and thank me later you will definitely love it honestly if you cannot find the goosey where you are now try this recipe try it out honestly you will not know the difference between this um almond soup and the goosey soup yeah lucky enough i have from my unboxing um african food video if you've not watched it go and watch it and know how the bitter leaf and the stock with some of the things i use in cooking this soup came about so go and check out that video if you haven't i will also leave the link to the video in my description box anyway guys that is all for this video thank you so much guys for watching please take care of yourself and stay safe and see you all in my next video Bye bye